Hello everyone, in this video we will see how you can set up LX USPS shipping plugin on your WooCommerce site. Also, we will understand how the USPS EVS and API 3 integration works. Once you purchase the plugin, download the zip file and install it on your WooCommerce site. Upon successful activation of the plugin, go to the settings page. The settings page has five different tabs. We will discuss each tabs in details, but first let's see the quick setup process. The quick setup process is slightly different based on the API you are using. First, enable the real-time rates, which will show the rates on the front end. Next, select the API mode, API environment, client ID, client secret, origin postcode. If you are using the EVS integration, then you need to use your USPS ID and password. If you are still confused about API 3 and EVS, do not worry, we will describe each integration in details later in this video. Now save the changes and go to Rates and Services tab. For the quick setup, you can go ahead with the predefined settings under Rates and Services, however, you can select the restricted countries, show estimated delivery dates and allowed services. Then save the changes and go to Packaging tab. The packaging option will help you set up the packing method. You can select the packaging method as per your business requirement also we will be describing each method in some time. Once you save the packaging option, go to Label Generation tab. In the Label Generation tab enter the account number, CRID, MID, Manifest MID, and all the details of the sender including the full address, mobile number email address. Then go to Advanced Settings and enter your AESITN number. Finally, save the settings. Now if you go to the front end then you can see the shipping rates on your cart page and if you can place an order and go to the back end of the order page, then you can see the LX USPS section which will help you generate the package and shipping label. You can simply follow the steps shown on your screen. Now that we have seen the quick setup process let's dive into the detailed settings, but first let's understand the different types of APIs. LX USPS Shipping Plugin supports both USPS EVS and API 3 integration. In order to use EVS integration, you have to create a USPS business account and contact USPS team to get approval for rates and label generation. USPS has some restrictions for the approval of EVS label generation. However, USPS API 3 does not have such restrictions. In order to use the API 3 integration, you need to create a USPS developer account and contact the USPS team to get the credentials such as, account number, CRID, MID, manifest MID, and AESITN number. If you want to know more about the credential creation process, then follow the link provided in the description. Next, let's understand the details of each settings of the plugin. Real-time rates helps you show the rates on the front end. Under API mode, you can select whether you want to use USPS EVS or USPS API 3 integration. API environment, it helps you to use the API in live site or in testing mode under sandbox. Client ID and client secret are your USPS API 3 credentials which you can get from your USPS developer account. Origin postcode, enter the postcode of the sender. This postcode will be used for calculating shipping rates. Debug mode, if you are not getting proper rates, not getting all the available shipping options, or not getting any rates at all, then you can tick the Enable Debug Mode checkbox to find the error. You can see the debug log under the console log of your site. Allowed Media Mail, select the shipping classes for which you want to include Media Mail Rate. If you are using USPS EVS integration, then the general settings is similar to the API 3. However, the only additional option is insurance, it will help you offer the insurance option for your packages. You can select one of the following options, customer's choice, mandatory, or no insurance. The rates and services tab contains settings that will determine the services that will be made available to the customers in your WooCommerce store. Method title allows you to set a custom title for the USPS shipping method. This title will be visible on the cart and checkout page under shipping options. Method availability, this field allows you to select countries for which you want to offer USPS shipping methods. Estimated delivery date, when this option is enabled, an estimated delivery date for each USPS service will be displayed. 
working days, select your regular business days, based on which, the estimated delivery date will be determined. The shipment is only scheduled to take place on business days. Cutoff time, set your shipment's cutoff time. Orders received after the cutoff time will be processed on the following business day. Based on this, the estimated delivery date will be calculated. Lead time, it will provide you with additional days and it will be included with estimated delivery dates. Shipping calculator settings will help you where and how you want to show the calculator. Display on product page, from the drop-down menu, choose where on the product page the shipping calculator should be displayed. None, after add to cart button, and before add to cart button are the available options. Select none if you don't want it to be displayed on the product page. Customize header text, set the title for the shipping calculator that the user sees on the product page. The extra services settings under rates and services is only restricted to USPS API 3. USPS label delivery service, it will help you get a physical shipping label delivered directly to you. USPS tracking electronic, provides mailers information indicating the date and time of delivery or attempted delivery of a mailed item. Sunday delivery, this option will help you deliver your packages on Sunday, this option is restricted to certain USPS services. Tracking service, this option will help you select the tracking service which you want to use for your packages. Certified mail service, select this if you want to provide the sender with a mailing receipt as confirmation an item was sent. Signature confirmation, this service provides valuable updates about your shipment status as it travels to its destination as well as evidence of delivery with the recipient's signature. Insurance service, select insurance option if you want to provide insurance option to your customers. Return receipt service, a return receipt provides evidence of delivery, to whom it was delivered and the date of delivery. The Rates API setting allows you to choose the types of rates of your choice. Retail Rate If this option is selected, then only retail rates are shown to the customer. Commercial Rates If this option is selected, then commercial rates are shown to the customers. In case if the commercial rates are not available for shipping service, then retail rates are shown to customers. Offer Rates You can choose to offer all returned rates from USPS or offer the cheapest rate only. Select Prioritize Flat Rate if you want to put importance on flat rate services. USPS Services USPS provides different types of shipping methods that are suited to the different needs of the customer. The first column allows you to set a custom name for the USPS services. The second column lists all the USPS services. You can tick the checkbox of the desired services that you wish to offer to your customers. The third and fourth column allows you to set price adjustments, positive or negative, in terms of amount value or a percentage value. If you are using the USPS EVS integration then there are some additional settings under Rates and Services tab. Show rates, using this option you can offer the shipping rates whenever the rates are available or whenever the destination zip code is available. Shipping rates, it allows you to choose the type of shipping rates you want to offer. Use click and ship rates, if this option is selected, then shipping rates are the same as what you get while printing postage online using click and ship for specific services. Online rates are discounted prices. Use offline rates, if this option is selected, then shipping rates are normal post office rates. Fall back, if in case USPS is not able to return the rates, then the fallback rate will be offered to the users. Next is Package Settings tab. Our WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin provides four methods for parcel packaging. Pack items individually, in this option, each item in the cart is packed separately. Total shipping cost is calculated by adding shipping cost for each item. This option is selected by default. Pack into boxes with weight and dimensions. If packing items individually does not suit your business, then you can define custom box sizes under Box Dimensions section. By default, there will be some predefined boxes, which are provided by USPS. All the cart items are packed into custom boxes defined in Box Dimensions settings. The best fit box is automatically chosen from the defined boxes. This is the recommended option. 
Weight-based, in this option, items with a maximum of 12 inches in length, width, or height are grouped together for packaging. The total weight of these grouped items is passed to the USPS API to get the real-time rates. But items that are larger than 12 inches in length, width, or height are packed individually. Weight-based improved, enter the maximum weight limit for packages. In this option, the weight of all the card items is summed up and items are packed with maximum weight limit in the boxes and passed to API to get rates. In addition to this, you can specify the process of packing, that is, you can pack heavier items first, pack lighter items first or pack items purely divided by weight. There is a possibility that an item may remain unpacked because the available boxes cannot accommodate it. It is also possible that item size or shape is not regular so it cannot be clubbed together with other items. To take care of such unpacked items, use one of the options as shown on the screen. Get a quote for the unpacked item by itself, this option gets the shipping rate individually for each unpacked item. Ignore the item, do not quote, this option neglects the unpacked item. But you get the quotes for the packed items. Use the fallback price, this option uses the fallback price which is mentioned in the rate option settings. Abort, do not return any quotes for the standard services, this option does not give any quotes. You do not even get the quotes that are returned according to the customized box dimension. Next, let's go to the Label Generation tab. Shipping Label, you can choose to enable or disable the Label Generation option by selecting the required option from this drop-down list. Hide Postage on Labels, this option will hide the postage on the shipping labels you are going to generate. Hide Mail Date on Labels, it will hide the mail date on the labels. Importer's Reference Type, you can select the importer's reference number such as VAT number, tax code or importer code. Also, you can assign importer's phone number. Default Services, with this field, you can set default print label service according to requirement. Label Size, it will help you set the size of the label. Label Format, with this option, you can set a required file format for printing the labels. Processing Category, this option will help you set up the category of processing of the package, based on the type of product you are shipping. Hold for Manifest, select either yes or no for holding the manifest record for possible inclusion in scan requests. Shipment Confirmation Acceptance Notice Form is a single form containing a master barcode that links all the labels you have printed for the packages that are ready for drop-off or pick-up service. As we have explained earlier you will be needing account number, CRID, MID, Manifest MID if you are using USPS API 3 integration. Next, you have to enter all the details of the sender including the phone number and email ID. Finally, the the advanced settings, you can enter the custom content type, which will give more info about the package that is you are going to ship. Then enter your EZIT number, invoice number, license number, certificate number and custom shipment message. That is all about the plugin settings. Hope you have understood every steps. If you have any feedback or queries then mention it on the comment section and if you still having trouble setting up the plugin then contact our support team by following the link provided in the description. For more helpful plugins and WooCommerce content subscribe to L Extensions.